Hi guys! You're seeing this because I haven't made it in for my flight yet and I refuse to let Sarah down, but hopefully I'll be busting through that door any moment. Uh, but I guess the door might be over there. Or the door might be there. I don't know. Wherever the door is, hopefully I'll be coming through any second. But I wanted to let you know my number one, two, and three and four, five, and six different ways that I like to incorporate the three C's into my existence is with a free software called Evernote. Um, there are paid upgrades, but the free one's actually really amazing. And uh, let me tell you a few reasons why I think so. So it seamlessly syncs across multiple devices. Uh, there's a PC client, a web client. You can check it on your phone, on your tablet. You can save all kinds of things in notes. For example, uh, this note has rich text, including checkboxes and bullets and numeric bullets, I think they're called. Um, it, it rich text, bold, italicized. There's also images that you can annotate images right in the note itself. And you can save PDFs inside every single note as well. You can view the whole entire PDF one by one by one. Or if you want, you can save it just as like a little attachment but you know it's there, so it's like a cool little secret treasure. Um, there's also a web clipper available for Evernote, as well as you can scan documents. We're going to see more on that in a second. You can use tags for notes. There's a home dashboard, which we're seeing here. Um, there's a super fast search, and then notes, notebooks, stacks, really cool stuff. So this is Evernote in dark mode. Uh, there is a light mode available if desired. This customizable dashboard allows you to kind of move things around how you want to see them best. I like seeing my notes on top, my most recent notes. There's a penned note option. You can quick at, quickly access your notebooks, your shortcuts. So lots of great ways that you can customize the dashboard. And um, it's super configurable to you, to how you like to stay organized. So what I personally like to do is I like having stacks of notebooks and then notebooks within the stacks, and then you can quickly access all of your notes within the different stacks and the different notebooks. And then here's all the different notes that have all the different cool ways that you can, you know, save lots of information. Oh, this was just a screen, uh, like I took a picture with Evernote. Um, so lots of cool stuff there. Um, there also is a way that you can utilize tags. So if you really like to tag notes, uh, so I really just have one in progress. So my notes, I can, if I hit this tag, I can, the in progress tag, I can quickly see the nine notes that I have in progress. So it's kind of just like, okay, what do I have to do? Which notes do I have to pay attention? Boom, these nine. So you can use tags if you really like tags. Um, the, if you want to use none of that and you just want to use a search, I just want to search for it. I, I've grown to love Google. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want to organize anything. No problem. The OCR technology on Evernote is just insane insane good. Uh, for example, uh, let's say I remember uh, at one of the real page, real world conferences, I heard somebody say something about facilities. I think his name was Scott. Um, what was that facilities um, note that I wrote down, that I hand wrote down? So I can go to the stack and I'm going to search for Scott and it's going to filter all the different times that it finds Scott. Now here's a facilities one. Let me click on that and check this out. Here's my handwritten notes. No judgment on my handwriting, but it's not that bad. Um, so as I scroll through, look, it highlighted Scott. So it reads the notes and I use the Evernote document scanner to scan my handwritten note and it you know, does its OCR technology and it found the word Scott from my handwriting. So it's really cool stuff if you just want to use it as a search capability. Um, Evernote also will assign you an email address so you can email things directly to it and they store as notes automatically. Uh, so that's a cool feature. And one of the last things that I want to talk about is templates. So the template feature is insane. So every single month, Management Systems does a training webinar and it's pretty much the same format, but the details change. So whenever I'm ready to start taking some notes and putting things together for that webinar, I'll come here to a new note and uh, it starts off, there's this open gallery 
I can choose from either one of their predefined templates, which there's a ton, or I have saved personal templates. So I'll go to my templates and here's the monthly webinar one. So I'll open this. And here's where I have my template of all the things I have to do before the webinar, after the webinar, sending that Starbucks to the Fahoot winner is very important. So that's on the list. <laughs> it's how you get paid. Um, so, and then I just edit the details a little bit as, as I need for that particular month. So the templates is a really powerful tool that I use all the time. Um, now, obviously, we are a Microsoft 365, tech, uh, 365 company. So if you have found a passion in a system with OneNote, um, rock on. And, and that's fine. We actually, we do use it for our internal department meetings every single week. Uh, so Evernote, I really use for like my personal notes because I trust it so much in the sync between devices. I've just heard some really gnarly horror stories about OneNote and, and sync issues. So uh, the engineering behind the sync on Evernote, just it, it can't be beat. So hopefully at some point during this, I've cut myself off by walking through that door. And if I didn't, hopefully that you have enjoyed this in the, the fashion that which I was able to bring it to you. So I really hope this can help you with your time management and uh, putting those three C's into action. See you guys soon.